Okay. Okay, yeah, so um, just a summary of the technology. So last year we gave a demonstration here at CES uh, of autonomous driving, L4 autonomous driving, uh, but this was a different car. Uh, the car was equipped with uh, CD2 chips and one PC. And this year we removed everything and we are just running on one chip, one CV3. Okay, this yeah. is the CV3. Exactly, just okay. one of, of these chips. And the technology that we have is made by 18 cameras, nine radars, and all of them are connected to CV3. So 18 cameras, nine radar, but you're not doing any LIDAR? No, we have no LIDAR in the car. Actually, we do believe that with the sensors that we have, so the resolution of the yeah. cameras, uh, the resolution of the radar, if you put everything together, you can't do without any LIDAR. And um, it'd be interesting to look at the bomb of that because, yeah, that's one of the things people have been debating on, LIDAR versus radar. Radar, obviously, is much less expensive than some of the LIDAR solutions. Yeah. Even the lower cost ones add, you know, yeah. twelve, fourteen thousand dollars $14,000 to a vehicle. Yeah. Plus, radar has a good, it's a good complement with vision. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 of course. So we're we'll putting together radar right angle. Yeah, yeah. That, that's why I'm very interested yeah. in this. So, um, just some more information is that uh, we do have the, uh, as I mentioned, we do have the autonomous driving stack, the full autonomous driving stack on the previous car. Yeah. So, not on this car. So, on this car, we only have perception and the future. Okay. So, we will integrate. Uh, Yeah. And the and the data fusion, and and the nice thing is that everything is running just one one chip. So what you're targeting for right now, I assume, is like level yeah. two plus, and then well, up to yeah. level four. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. okay. So we may see we, the next demo may see some level well, some level four. Yeah. Great. Well, actually, so we did already last last. Yeah, time. yeah. Um, that was but now, but, but no, no, it was also with radar. Oh, okay. Yeah, yes. But last year it was with a PC. Yeah. Uh, with uh, 16 CV2s. Wow. Okay. So we had 16 because we were doing the processing on the edge. Yeah. So for every camera, we had one CV2 uh, for the processing, and then the PC was putting everything together. Yeah. Uh, but now we got rid of everything. We only have one chip. So all the 18 cameras are connected to one chip. So I have to ask you one question now. If you're going to go through all this trouble, why isn't there a Ferrari? Just <laughs> <laughs> At least we could. <laughs> we, we, wouldn't, we, wouldn't, Italy, we wouldn't. We wouldn't. We wouldn't fit. We wouldn't fit for the demo, Jim. Ferrari's got a new. Uh, the new SUV. <laughs> okay. Right. Right, so if you want to um, yes. have a look at the cameras, for example, oh, yeah, so we have we two versions, two yeah. two systems. Yeah. Yeah. So the first uh, system is the short range. Mm -hmm. So this is a stereo camera that gets from zero to five meters in okay. the car. And we have four of them, one on each side. So it's a stereo. Um, I didn't mention that all the cameras are 4K, so 8 megapixel, apart from these. So these are 2 megapixels. Okay. All the others are, are running 30 frames per second, uh, 8 megapixels, but these are the lower resolution. Because so, you need to look close. Yeah. So this is the close range. And then we have the long range. Long range, you know, one stereo camera here. We have a stereo. And, and monocular. And these are the monocular cameras. And these are pointing in all directions. To cover the 360. The glass actually, in the 18 cameras, we also have. Two internal cameras, so the occupancy monitor and the driver monitor. Mm -hmm. uh, 
which are not used today. And one additional camera there, and that's used for uh, European traffic lights. Okay. So it's not used today for that one. Uh, what is this? What yeah, is that's an illumination. Okay. It's it's an an it looks like an LED. Yeah, it's an LED. We started with the um, infrared. Yeah. Then we understood the regulations do not allow you to use infrared in oh. position. Okay. And then, then we turn that into daylight. Okay. So when you do the parking in a pitch black situation, it's completely dark. Mm. We switch on that. <clears throat> it's very nice because it has some texture here, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it projects the texture like diffusing, on yeah. the ground. So stereo works pretty nice. That's like what they did in pool lights, actually. The yeah. lenses on pool lights to go straight down. Yeah, but, I mean it's a stupid thing, but it yeah. really works. So. Yeah, yeah. So that that's a short range again. That long range, and these little things here are um, sprayers to clean the lens. Oh. Yeah, again, not a stupid thing, but it actually really works. So, yeah. If you are running in uh, rain, snow actually, snow or rain, yeah. yeah, it blows air on the lens yeah. and uh, it cleans the lens. Yeah, I, I drove through a snowstorm to get here, so yeah, I can't oh. wait. <laughs> and I live in Arizona. Yeah. yeah. And you were getting storm there? Yeah, we yeah. live in the mountains uh, in Eastern America. So yeah. All right, okay, so, so we're gonna start the we're gonna start the demo. So uh, click on part two uh, to see the demo.